Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review for Vlad Circus Descend into Madness on Xbox. Now this game was released on the 17th of October 2023, developed by Indisruption and published by Blowfish Studios. And I was looking to present a copy of this game for review, so huge thank you to them for that. Now, I love me some point-and-click adventure games. I love me some psychological horror games. I love games full of like puzzle-solving elements and survival mechanics. I love games with amazingly creepy atmospheres. And I was not disappointed by this game. Now, this game is basically a sort of point-and-click adventure game full of like puzzle elements with... A smattering of like action sequences sprinkled throughout its story. So the majority of the time, you're exploring, using items, picking things up, interacting with people, objects, stuff like that to progress these stories and puzzles. But at times there are sections where you've got to like fight for your life, basically. Now, this game is awesome. The thing that stood out to me most was the art style when you first start it. It's like 2D pixelated, but it just conveys everything amazingly. On top of that, the gameplay and story just really had me hooked from start to finish. Now, the game basically sees you playing as an ex-circus clown. And eight years before the game, there was a fire at this circus that you used to work at and this is like in the 1920s you basically look back at this it plays a big part you're sort of like psychologically disturbed you're not right in the head and this fire disaster they don't know if it was arson or not someone got done for it and basically loads of people were killed because of it so, the brother of the circus director was accused of the arson and he was executed for it. So, um, that's where you sort of start off. You've all been invited to this mansion of the circus director and he's basically wanting to get it back together and sort of resurrect this circus. But what happens is you end up in this giant, creepy, empty mansion in a storm, the power's gone out, and all you've got is a little lantern to keep everything bright. And it's fantastic. The atmosphere of this game is awesome. Imagine, like, the Spencer Mansion from Resident Evil, but in, like, pixelated graphics. But in a creepy, point-and-click adventure-style game filled with weird and wonderful circus performers. You've got the ventriloquist with the, like, offensive dummy... You've got the bearded lady. You've got like the like um, a guy who's got no legs. Basically, it's fantastic, and the story is creepy. It shows you sort of dropping in and out of like saneness as you're progressing through the game, and the ending has a massive twist. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the massive twist at the end. I'll put my hands. Up. I won't spoil it here, but I feel like. Um, it it builds up to more and I don't think the payoff is, in my opinion, great. It's one of those ones like M. Night Shyamalama, or however you pronounce his name. Sometimes they're like, whoa, this is like six cents, amazing twists. And other times they're like, oh, it's the flowers that did it. So this is one of those other times. Now, the game itself, I wouldn't say it's like a proper point and click adventure game. You walk around freely but you have the inventory and the interaction with the characters and the environment and stuff like that, which feel old school. So it definitely feels like an old school adventure game, but running and looking absolutely fantastically on modern systems. Now, this is a gory game. There's a lot of blood and guts and grossness in it. So just bear that in mind if you hadn't realized that this is a horror game. It's great. The mansion features over like 50 different locations you can explore throughout the game. You can go outside into like the woods and stuff around it. You can go all up and down in all the different rooms, interact with so much of it. 
and honestly i had so much fun playing it just the story and the setting like the 1920s vibe of it and then the creepiness of having all of the um circus entertainers and stuff like that there everything like really just drew me in and it just ticked all of my boxes so i highly recommend checking this one out because in disruption have done an absolutely fantastic job now it's playable on xbox one and xbox series x and s consoles priced at 16 pound and 99 pence it's also available on other consoles and steam as well it's one of those games that looks great plays great has a great story to a point like i say you may absolutely love the end i just felt the end was a bit naff compared to the rest of the story but overall like i said i was hooked from start to finish well written i loved having your like a diary that updates when you've talked to people to give you sort of like reminders about what people have said and give you some sort of narrative like explanation and stuff like that there is a lot of back and forth a lot of um retreading backtracking through areas you do have a sprint but you don't have a lot of stamina so you end up out of, of um breath quite a lot but all in all it's a great dark twisted creepy story that hits you from the beginning and hooks you in tight until the very end so check it out it's available right now but other than that Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you very soon for more gaming content. Bye for now, guys.